In GEO, what we do is NatureWorks makes fibers and plastics from plants. We call those products. The product we sell, we call it in GEO. Simple name, ingredients from the earth that represents the products that we sell. We worked on this concept of how to make plastics and fibers from plants through the 90s. NGO itself was born in, in really 2003 when it was launched to the textile and fibers world and more recently to the plastics world as a more responsible choice for designers, brands, manufacturers to use to make consumer products in a better way. How so very many of the products we so take for granted in our everyday lives come from oil. From the bed we sleep in, to the carpet we stand on when we get up, to the clothes we pull on. What in the fundamental in in innovation that NGO has brought is a better way to make the same things that we've gotten used to in our everyday lives. Well, NGO is all about making the right choice an easy choice for the consumer. Making it an easy choice means the product has to perform. It has to look and feel good. It has to be a beautiful product. And it has to be right for the environment. And right for the environment, NGO has credentials there of 65% less fossil fuel used to make it, 80 to 90% less greenhouse gas generation than the conventional textiles and plastics it competes with. But that isn't enough in and of itself. That's the green movement in the past has had good green credentials. But people have typically associated the green movement with giving up performance or a nice a product that's nice to look and touch and feel. So it's those three things together that are the unique value proposition for NGO and why we're seeing the consumer uptake that we are. What's exciting to us is the breadth of those who have embraced NGO. It ranges literally, literally, we say, from A to Z, from A to W, from Armani to Walmart. That sort of dichotomy, from Armani with a beautiful garment to Walmart replacing over 100 million packaging containers in their deli aisle. So a tremendous range. Sony has made a Walkman, Fujitsu has made a laptop, a car company called Cargo has made a fantastic cosmetic casing, a lipstick tubing. Everyday retailers. Primo has made a beverage bottle for still water in a better way, now made out of 100% NGO. The products also include bedding, homewares, and the, the serviceware, the plates and cups and knives and forks that you'll use can, are now being made all out of NGO. No better time than to really celebrate the tangible reality of what our downstream customers and partners have done with NGO, turning it into responsible innovations that the consumers can buy today, easy choices that con consumers can make at retail, here and now. I'm here in New York uh, for Earth Day, and I wanted to share with you how proud we are that we have Primo Water in an NGO uh, resin. What we've heard from our consumers and what we're so thrilled to do is to bring Primo Water to the nation in an affordable way with a renewable resource, uh, one that helps us get off our foreign oil independence, and one that allows us to feel good twice, that is doing something great for our bodies and doing something great for our planet at the same time. Uh, my company is called WIP, Wellness Innovation Project, and uh, we are uh, doing uh, products like uh, baby diapers, uh, sanitary napkins, uh, and uh, disposable products. Uh, we, we are using uh, organic cotton certified, and uh, for making this kind of products, we have replaced the polypropylene, the plastic that normally is using, uh, with uh, the fiber in gel, uh, PLA. Uh, Maritain Francois, they invented the stone wash 40 years ago and the stone wash uh, kills the fish in the river with a lot of pollution. So it's important now, like a mea culpa, to say, okay, we have done this, but now we want to really uh, work and develop technology which can be uh, good and we can be proud of for the future generation. Francois Gerbeau and Maritain would be really interested in the future to do more with NGO. My name is Electra Wiedemann and we're here in New York to celebrate Earth Day. We 
had just had a little panel discussion and my role, um, I work in fashion, I'm a model, so I spoke about my experiences um, putting together this future fashion show, which was staged in January, in which uh, 30 of the world's top designers contributed uh, designs made of sustainable or eco-friendly fabrics. If we can reform the fashion industry in the entire sense of the word, that it actually is a huge step towards sustainability in general. I mean, hey, every day is Earth Day. Every day should be Earth Day. Why is it just one day? So I think that it's great that a lot of people are just becoming more aware of the choices that they can make and become more informed and educated on how, what their impact is on the environment and how they can improve in society. So this is an event that NatureWorks put together, a month, we call it Indio Earth Month, where we gang together in one room, literally here, all the textiles, fibers, plastics, innovations of what's been done, what's really available for the consumer worldwide, put it together to play back to the, to the market and to the consumer, to the respond to their desire to do the right thing, to buy the right thing. This is what is now available. These real choices are here for you now. And what we've also put together is what we call a round table discussion. We have six people, three brands or retailers that have commercialized NGO products, and then some third parties, NGO, NGOs or stakeholders, who will talk about the journey they want, went through to, get, to make responsible innovation real at the consumer level, to make real products available at the consumer level, what they went through, how they market it, how they show the consumer a credible product.